Welcome to lecture 13, the NPTEL online certification course on bioreactors. We are towards the end of module 3. We had uh, assigned a problem in the last class. We will work that out and with, with that we can complete module 3. The problem statement reads as processed fungi are good bioabsorbents for toxic trace metals and thus they can be used to remove chromium, mercury, cobalt and others from industry effluents. A suitable fungus needs to be produced at uh, 500 gram per hour for the above purpose, that is the production rate. The growth limiting substrate concentration at the inlet of the chemostat to produce fungus is 50 gram per liter. The fungus follows Monod kinetics with the maximum specific growth rate being equal to 0.5 hour inverse. The substrate concentration that corresponds to the half maximal growth rate is 1 gram per liter. It is aerobic growth with a yield cell yield coefficient from substrate of 0.5. That is why x slash s is 0.5. Find the minimum size of a chemostat needed for the above for a given inlet flow rate. The solution is as follows. We will ask our same questions and try to answer them. What is needed? The minimum size of a chemostat needed for the above given conditions for a given initial for a given inlet volumetric flow rate what is known or given. The production rate is 500 gram per hour that is given. Uh, the maximum specific growth rate is 0.5 hour inverse. The K s is 1 gram per liter. Y x s is 0.5. All these are given. And also S i the inlet substrate concentration in the feed is 50 gram per liter. Monod kinetics for growth is given. Now, how do we connect what is needed to what is given? If the volume needs to be minim minimized, we need to be operating at the maximum productivity Rm. Okay? That is that is what makes sense. If only if the productivity is maximized, can the volume be minimized to get the best out? Our inlet flow rate F is fixed and the dilution rate is defined as F by V or the volume of the reactor is F by D, I am just transposing this. And so to minimize V, we need to maximize D because V equals F by D, right? When V is minimum for a constant F, D has to be maximum, only then V will be minimum. So we need to find essentially dm which will also maximize the productivity because dm into mu m and so on and mu m into x was our productivity. So, that will also maximize productivity. We have already derived our dm as mu m times 1 minus uh, square root of k s by k s plus s i that we have already derived in our previous lecture. Now, if we substitute the values that are given in the problem we will get d m equals 0 0.5 is mu m 1 minus k s is 1 gram per liter and s i is 50 gram per liter. Uh, this is the square root and if we calculate the value it will turn out to be 0 0.43 r inverse. You need a calculator to do this. If we know f, we can find v m the minimum size of the chemostat. We do not know f, but we know that the productivity is 500 gram per hour. Okay. From this, we will have to somehow find f and thereby find the minimum value of the reactor volume. And uh, we also know that r m is f times x m. This is where we get the relationship between f and r m. r m is f times x m. X m is the outlet cell concentration at maximum productivity. Right? We need V m, we know R m, so we are trying to find F and therefore V m by using R m. 
we also know the yield coefficient we we know that the cell concentration is y x s times s i minus s therefore x m is uh, if you substitute the conditions for the maximum then we would get x m here maximum cell concentration we get s m here so y x s times s i minus s m this is the condition this is the substrate concentration in the outlet which corresponds to the maximum cell concentration x m maximum productivity to find s m let us use the relationship between d and s i hope you are able to follow all the interrelated aspects that's an essential feature of many problems and that's what takes time to develop to be able to see the various connectivities so mu m equals sm uh, sorry mu m sm by ks plus sm is dm so mu m sm is dm times ks plus sm just transposing and just collecting all the uh, common terms sm into mu m minus dm equals dm times ks so sm equals dm ks by mu m minus d let us do the above step by step through substitution of the relevant values for our situation sm here dm ks by mu m minus d dm what we found from the earlier case is 0.43 earlier calculations 0.43 ks is 1 mu m was 0.5 dm was 0.43 this turns out to be 6.14 gram per liter so xm from sm we are calculating xm and therefore dm and so on that, that's the way we're going to go about it so sm was 6.14 gram per liter xm is yx times si minus sm just substitution of this we get 0.5 into 50 minus 6.14 21.93 gram per liter and uh, rm is f times xm we'll come to this in a little bit it came a little early it doesn't matter rm equals f times xm so rm is 500 f times 21.93 f equals 500 by 21.93 that's 22.8 liters per hour so the corresponding minimum val volume is f by dm right from the definition of the dilution rate we said to minimize v we'll have to maximize m we have found out the maximum uh, dm as 0.43 we went through all these steps to get f from the productivity as 22.8 so 22.8 by 0.43 happens to be 53.02 liters okay so this is the minimum volume of the chemostat for the given set of conditions in the problem right okay when we meet next we will continue the course we will start module 4 see you